Hello again everyone, welcome to my channel. Just Guide. Today I want to show you how to resize or enlarge vector image. Before we begin, I want you to know that this will work, if the vector got black and white color, or you can make it black and white first, and after enlarging the base image, then you can put the color back on again. Hope this will help you. So let's start. Ok let's start from certain the basic vector we need. Let's start typing bird logo vector from Google. We will try to search the image, a basic free image which usually have low quality. Click this, and let's see if get what we want. There's this blue bird, let's scroll down a bit. Ah, just say I want this bird like logo here. Next, we'll try to download it. I'll just save this using screenshot method. Using snipping tool to copy this image directly to Photoshop. It's then, we go to Adobe Photoshop right here. It's still a blank page here. We go and create a new blank page using the predetermined size from the copied snipping tool image, and just hit OK. Press Ctrl plus V on keyboard to paste the image. Now the material is ready. Before we begin, as I mentioned before, it works better to clear contrast image, the perfect example is black and white, so here we go applying the black and white effect to this image. Simply choose it from the right bottom button here for adding new effects. And there you go, a black and white effect applied. Then we will just merge this too so we can go to the next step. Let's see the image size here first. It's 730 by 640 pixels wide. Ok, let's change the size up to your needs. Just say I need around 5000 pixels here and click OK. Wait some time, my laptop needs time to work on this. There you go the bar. Now let's see the results. We can clearly see the jugged edge of the vector image. It's so rough because forced to fill new empty pixels. The next thing we do is to remove the jagged edges by using this blur effect. Go to blur, search for Gaussian blur. A little window will pop out. It consists of two sections. The preview window and the slider. The preview window is a sample of your image to show the result. You can change the zoom here. Simply drag the until you find the section where it shows the jagged edges, then go to the slider and try to find where the amount of blur is just enough to make the edges fade away. So it will kind of grade out the edges trying to blend the black and the white background. It is quite okay for now, so let's press OK. Once it's done, the next step is to sharpen the grayed out area we just make. We can do this by changing the contrast of this to the image. We use this curve effect to achieve that. Click this effect right here at the bottom right of the tool here, and choose curve. Another window with a curve will be displayed. Then, we find that there are two sliders at the bottom. Changing the contrast here is by moving the slider to meet each other at the middle. Take a look at how the blurry area is gone. Let's zoom it in to see clearly. You can set the slider however you want to have the final look you like. I'll try to merge this slider to completely remove the shade. There you go, you can see the grayed out area is gone now and it's quite sharp. Let's zoom out and see the image size here with this quality. Then, there it is, the result is shown. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, don't forget to consider subscribe or like the video. Thanks.